Hey everyone, it's Ross. Um, in today's video, we're gonna be planting some ginger and we're gonna be planting some turmeric. And this is a really iffy crop here in zone seven. Um, you know, I live in the greater Philadelphia area, zone seven A, and ginger and turmeric traditionally are meant to be as more of a tropical plant. Um, you know, they don't really grow here in a temperate climate. Uh, but people are showing really great success using them as annuals even in New Jersey uh, as far north as Canada people are growing them in low tunnels or high tunnels you know I know two different farms that are doing this I even have friends that someone in Staten Island New York is doing this with good success as annuals um, I have a friend down in the south who has sent me by the way Lance if you're watching thank you he sent me some turmeric and ginger that we're gonna plant right now um, and he is showing really great success with that as a perennial and he's in zone 7b so he's a little warmer than me but uh, his idea and I think this makes a whole lot of sense because I'm doing this as well with Gallingall right they're all related so I have Gallingall on the front of the house over here and I've just covered it with lots of mulch to try to keep the ground warmer throughout the winter time keep it from freezing you know at the surface it certainly will freeze here but it doesn't really go down too deep and if it goes down too deep, it's not really like, you know, freezing, freezing cold. It's it's going to be below 32, but it's not going to be enough, I would think, to kill these these plants, right? These tubers that I'm going to put in the ground. But the way we can help that and prevent this stuff from freezing is actually to uh, cover it with tons of straw. Any kind of uh, material is going to keep the ground warmer, keep the ground from freezing. It's going to be an insulative layer. And because of that, I think we're, we actually will have good success with ginger and turmeric and gallingall as a perennial here in zone 7A. If my friend in zone 7B can do it, Lance, then why can't I? So I'm gonna show you guys that right now. And I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. So we've dug a hole here. Not a really big hole, guys. I didn't go to crazy lengths to dig this hole. It's pretty cold out. It's tough to get through this clay. I'm just gonna lay this stuff in here as an experiment, right? So we're just gonna fill this back in. That's all this is, fill the dirt. We got ourselves our hole. We're not gonna water this. We're not gonna do anything to this. But we are going to cover this with the straw because if I were to just leave this hole the way it is and not cover this, we certainly would get the ground frozen here. It's happened many times so far this December, but I'm just gonna cover this hole, this section here, with as much material as I can gather. And this may not even be enough. This is probably four inches high or so of mulch, but this will probably sink down a little bit. But I should probably get even more material. And this is what I can do on an annual basis is come in here guys with, you know, say I have a, a ginger patch or a turmeric patch that I'm gonna create and it's gonna be a perennial here. I can just come through here and mulch this whole area with as much straw as I can, sort of like it already is, you know? Straw's pretty inexpensive. You can get a lot of it, you know, at one time. It's not hard to find. Um, so that's all it is really, just coming in here every year I think that will be the answer enough to give me perennial ginger, perennial turmeric. And that way I can come out here anytime I need it, dig up some of that root and bring it back in the house and cook with it. You know, instead of uh, buying your ginger at the store or buying your turmeric at the store, it's just not as good guys. Um, especially first year ginger compared to second year ginger. It's a, it's so different. Um, so yeah. This is one experiment that I'm doing this year. I don't know if it's gonna work here in 7A, but it certainly is working in 7B. And uh, yeah, I wish you all luck if you're gonna try this. So anyway guys, take care, this was Ross. Have a good one.